Hey there, you're watching Crash Doctor TV with Beam and G Drive, and we have an incredible, absolutely demon drag car. What I built last night, the EV funny car. Let's pull her out. Oh yeah, as you can tell, this thing means business. Good old Mio's drag pack for the win. By the way, link is in the description. One of the coolest mods. I am obsessed with doing drag cars lately. My Abishu Miramar diesel drag car had some parts from this pack. And uh, so does this. Those awesome rear tires are just fat. They're so cool. And, of course, the parachutes on the back. And uh, those kind of cool front wheels as well. Hey, where are you going? This thing is absolute beast mode. So is a spoiler, too. It is absolutely crazy. It took a lot of tuning, uh, but it came out just the way I wanted it. This is a funny car, like NHRA style, in the truest sense. This car is lightweight, massive tires, and massive horsepower. Okay, we'll put it on the scale, and then we'll get racing. Okay, so looking on the scale... We'll let it iron itself out. We're looking at 3,200 pounds, so that's pretty light. It's pretty much going to be us showing off. <laughs> None of these cars are really going to be able to keep up with us. And then, same camera off. Yuck. We'll do the Pro Tree because this this is like a funny car, so we're doing the Pro Tree. So we're going to have to have quick reaction times. And of course, you'll notice it's very quiet, very ominous, very ominous. People have no idea what to expect until they see this thing go. And then they're like, oh, crap. We're going to stage and watch this. Had to let off a little bit. Oh. <laughs> and there you have it. Look how far my car is down there compared to the Viper here. The Viper ran at 8, which is already an extremely fast quarter mile at 190 miles an hour. And we just made it look slow. We just ran a 5.9 on our first run at 246 miles per hour. Unbelievable. My car is way down there, almost by the hill. And uh, this car is addicting. I, I encourage you to go out and try and build your own EV drag car. And let me know how it goes. It is extremely fun. I know it's a game, but, you know, in real life, everyone gets thrown back by the EVs, the Teslas, and they're always like, whoa. It, it honestly feels like that in a game. It's just the, the, the power is so linear, the way it feels. It's crazy. It just pulls and never stops. And you see that launch is very stable and consistent. 5.69 at 248 we're getting better the viper did better too 7.9 but 5.69 that is absolutely insane you'll notice when it launches we're going to do some different camera views on the next couple because these are so quick so we'll do multiple runs um you'll notice that it launches so good it what it does is it launches and i'm able to basically go full throttle Maybe feather just once or twice quick. But it, it pulls to the side, to the left side, just a little bit. And I just have to make a slight correction in the steering. I've gotten used to it. It's not too hard. But that was from all that tuning. Before it was a nightmare, it would pull so hard. It would go kind of crazy. It would wheel hop. So getting that wheelie bar and the tire pressures right was essential. And then especially that rear suspension. It was a lot of work. So use this as a baseline. It will take some work, but it's worth it. It's so fun once you get it consistent. Oh, my God. Oh, that never gets old. 5.7. Wow. And let's check out some different views.
Okay, and I am back here with the uh, the dynometer on top, so you can just see the outrageous power numbers this electric setup puts down. So take a look here. Look at it spike all the way to the top. I've never even seen that. <laughs> this thing has like almost 7,000 foot pounds of torque. If that, if I'm reading that right, so fun. We're gonna get a good time here. I had a perfect launch. Good reaction time. 5.72, wow. I'm gonna meet you over at special stage route B for a special top speed test and that will probably end the video. So see you in a sec. And I'm gonna show you how to make this a top speed beast. We're gonna put these all the way down as far as we can to 402s. Apply. And actually one more secret. Tire pressure needs to be all the way up. And this will give us our maximum potential for top speed. Just for a fun way to uh, experiment at the end here. Let's put it in realistic gearbox. Alright, and let's see uh, how fast this thing can really go. I'm guessing over 300. And uh, it's going to be crazy. Oh yeah, over 300 for sure. 360, 370. <laughs> oh, oh, it's unstable. It's all, oh, there we go. <laughs> I, oh, <laughs> oh, it's still going. We're still going. Oh no, we're not. <laughs> that thing, this thing is unbelievable. I'm, you know, it's so powerful. It's so ludicrous that this type of car you can start losing wheels left to right and just put the power down. You're still going. All you need is one fat wheel. We'll try it one more time. Three fifty, three sixty. Some of that might be wheel spin too. You can hear it. Oh, it pulled me right in. There goes the drag wheel. Let's follow that thing. Oh no, it's going in the ocean. No. My wheel. Well, there's our car. Well, guys, as that uh, winds down, bottom end up. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed this awesome EV build because quarter miles in the fives launches like a total champion, uh, zero to 60 in one second flat. This thing is absolutely terrifying and I love it. So uh, make sure to leave a like on there. Help me out because I know you enjoyed this video and I really thank you for watching and uh, subscribe for daily BMG uploads. Till next time, cheers.